The United Nations says Earth just had its hottest three months on record, June, July, and August. However, Watertown just had its third coldest summer in 130 years. 7 News reporter Zach Grady tonight on more on how Earth is hot, but we're not. June, July, and August of 2023 were the hottest three months on record for Earth. Places like Phoenix, Arizona had at least 55 days where the thermometer was above 110 degrees Fahrenheit. However, it was just the opposite for the North Country. There was a big heat dome over the central part of the U.S., and that was just keeping all those really hot, sweltering temperatures there, um, and that uh, the jet stream was going around that, and that let the cool air come down into where we were, so we got those cooler temperatures. In August for Watertown, a normal high temperature is 78.7 degrees. This past summer, the average was 73.8 degrees, Watertown's second coldest August since 1893. As for June, July, and August combined, Watertown saw its third coldest summer. This doesn't really have any long-term implications. This was just kind of the pattern we got stuck in for this summer um, and really no indications for, for other years going forward. Lowville for the three-month time period was right around its normal temperature. Messina was a degree below. As for who this cooler summer can help, farmers. Cool wet summer has been generally pretty good for crops. Um, we're trying to hope for some decent weather here at the end for them to get finished off. The greater concerns are when we get a killing frost, but if we keep on with the cooler wet conditions, it's going to make it challenging for um, getting other crops harvested. For some, the summer of 2023 leaves something to be desired. Oh, it's, it's been a weird summer. Uh, you know, it started out, it was hot and then it rained and rained and rained a lot <laughs> and now we're back to summer this week even though it's supposed to be fall. So. It's not, it was not a summer that we could even plan on going on camping trips or anything because we didn't know what the weather was going to be like. Scientists point out that there is a strong El Nino weather pattern right now in the Pacific Ocean helping to heat up the earth. That pattern is expected to continue into 2024. Zach Grady, 7 News.